try to do this easily and simply because it is simple, okay? An emergency room is where people go when they don't know what's wrong and they're having chest pain or their arm is asleep because they're having a stroke or they're bleeding to death from falling or they broke a hip when they fell or they're hit by a cab or hit by a car or fell off their bike and cracked their skull open or they think they're having a stomach ache but it's actually a heart attack. Okay? Absolutely, people also go to the emergency room with runny noses and sore throats and sore arms. But that's, a, that's, that's the fault of our healthcare system. Too many people use the emergency department for things they don't need to. What the state has done is turn that on its head and say, oh, well, we'll just open up an urgent care center so that the, the people that use the emergency department for non-emergent uses will have an urgent care center and all the people who really need an emergency room get screwed, okay? Just try to picture you're having chest pain and you're on, right here, on 9th Avenue and you have to travel somewhere between two and three and a half miles in traffic. You're in gridlock, you have to cross town. I think you all know crossing town is about five times harder than going north or south. Um, and meanwhile, your heart attack is occurring, the oxygen's cut off your heart, your muscle's dying, or you're having a stroke. And your stroke, your brain is dying. The, the neurologists who are on a stroke team at St. Vincent's, which was one of the best in the country, had a uh, big sign in the emergency room which said, time is brain. And uh, Dr. Chagotnik over here can tell us it's probably a matter of about four minutes before you've finished. So, you know, four minutes in an ambulance is about two blocks, maybe? Two blocks, okay? Uh, let's take another example, all right? You're having a stomach ache, so you think, oh, I have a stomach ache, no big deal, and you go to your urgent care center. Uh, the physicians that are in the room, and I see several, will know, all know that one of the signs of a heart attack in a certain portion of the wall of the heart is a stomach ache. So you sit in the urgent care center for two hours, two and a half hours, you get a person who is not an emergency department trained physician, to evaluate you, and by now you've probably knocked off a portion of your heart muscle, and they say, wow, this man is having a heart attack. Let's send him to, an, to a hospital in the emergency department. And another hour passes, or another 30 minutes passes. And now you've passed the time that's critically necessary to get into a cath lab and save that heart. I won't keep going on with the stories, I think it's clear. It's a scam and it's a fraud being perpetrated on the people who live down here.
okay? You can get urgent care in my office, in Dr. Chagodnik's office, in Dr. Johnston's office, in Dr. Cole's office, all right? We all do urgent care all day long. Granted, we don't stay open all night long, that's true. But it's not, you know, it's not uh, rocket science to do urgent care. And in order to have an emergency department, you have to have a hospital. You can't have one without the other. That's the other part of the scam and fraud. To say an urgent care and emergency in the same sentence and act like, like uh, um, somehow that's okay, a good substitute for a hospital is a, a sad, sad joke. Okay? So I'm going to stop there.